Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Civilization VI. Today I want to talk about space and how underused I think it is in the Civilization VI meta. So space really, all it is used for is a science victory. You know, you launch a satellite and it, you know, explores for you and gives you buffs and stuff. Like it gives you, I believe, a culture buff as well. But it really doesn't do all that much beyond helping you with a science victory. Like if you're not going for a science victory, there's almost no reason to use, like, a spaceport. And I think this is a disadvantage in the game. Because one of the resources that you have an abundance of is aluminum. And I think that if you add it, if, you know, there's more types of spaceships added into the game, I think that it would be pretty cool. I think it'd be cool if there was a space-based nuclear launcher that you unlocked in the future era. I think it'd be cool if there was stations that, like, if a, let's say a city has a spaceport, okay? There could be a fourth tier of buildings for all of the districts, right? Like, for instance, a science lab could have a science station. And, you know, it doesn't have to be very fancy or like a uh, commercial hub could have a merchant vessel, you know, some kind of space-based thing that gives you bonuses and it also gives you bonuses on how many spaceports you have. Now with that being said, if you watch my video on Science Victory, I still think spaceports should replace a district. I don't think like it's like, okay, build a spaceport in the district, then launch the district's bonus building. I think it'd be cool if a spaceport, you replaced a district, right? And the game also clearly told you that you replaced a district. Um, and then you launch the space spaceship or space buildings up to help you with that district. If that I think that would be really, really cool. I think spy satellites should be a thing, right? Like, maybe you have a, one spy satellite where, like, you pick an area, or maybe they just have high maintenance, and you can see what's going on or assist your spy, you know? I mean, there's a whole bunch of things they could do because, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have your city that produces the most... Uh, the most production, and that's going to be your spaceport city, right? There's really, in Gathering Storm and stuff like that, maybe two or three spaceports, but you know, you're going to have these spaceports, and they're going to be lying around doing nothing. You know, they're not really going to be doing anything to help you other than building the terrestrial, like the lasers and the stuff to help speed up your expedition to the exoplanet. But I just think that you know, being able to build space stations to support yourself, uh, giving you extra benefits. Maybe even there's a great wonder where you build the International Space Station and it gives you a policy card or something. You know, an extra policy slot. Space-based wonders that you need a space station for, and they don't take up a, a spot in, you know, maybe they do take up a, a hex, maybe they don't, you know, I don't know. But I just think that spaceports are a little underwhelming, and I wish they could do more, you know. That's all I really got to say about this, guys. Quick little video. I hope you enjoyed. What would you add? If you could add uh, spaceports, like uh, an addition to spaceports, what would it be? What would you add to your spaceports in Civ 6? What types of buildings? Would you add spaceport buildings? Would you add spaceships? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.